So a lot of streamers use the Elgato Stream Deck, me included. It's, it's one of my favorite tools. It is uh, something that I utilize every stream multiple times. However, there are some limitations uh, to the Elgato Stream Deck, one of which is it reads multi-switch commands like a list. So when I want a very complex transition to happen and I press a button like so, it all goes one command after the other. But what if I told you there was a program that could make it happen instead of like what you just saw all happen at once like this? I'm Wolverine Guy Kev, and this is Gen X Gaming. All right, guys, before I get into this, I'd just like to remind you that if this video helps you at all, you like the video, please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, and share with your friends. One of the tools that I utilize to make my stream look slick, just make it, the transitions look sharp, is the Noobs Commander, Nutty's official OBS Commander. Nutty is a streamer on Twitch. He does a lot of uh, YouTube tutorials, much like I do, much like Andy Lippy does, much like Alpha Gaming does. And uh, he developed this tool to write batch files, batch scripts, that will essentially be read all simultaneously. It's the exact same commands you can do in your stream deck, but instead of reading them one by one going down the list, it makes everything happen simultaneously. This tool is a great resource and quite frankly, it's such a little thing and it can take your streams from looking amateurish to very professional and polished. And it's a very simple process uh, to get this installed. So in order to download this, you're gonna need a couple of things installed. Number one, you need to have the OBS WebSocket. It is the only way the outside programs can control OBS for you. Number two, you have to be using OBS Studio. Slobs does not work, much like many of the things that I utilize. That's why I use OBS Studio. Um, and finally, OBS Command, which is included in the download for noobs commander so you'll go to this page right here again link is down below in the comments at the obs project.com link uh and then forum.resources. Blah, blah 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 um go to the download button click on that and go to noobs commander the zip file download it and it'll it's a very simple process install it wherever you want it does not matter once you've got it downloaded you'll be presented with this screen right here. This is your main interface. You have to make sure that this says connected to OBS and it'll be able to pull all of your scene and source info. So from here, you have several options from which to set up a script. This will allow you to toggle your stream, whether you start or stop it. This will allow you to toggle recording. This allows you to switch to any scene you want, and you can set up these very complex commands in order to make transitions or macros happen all simultaneously. And if you need there to be a delay between certain things, there is a delay function here. So for me, if I want to make a command that switches my scene and toggles the size of my camera, I would click scene, switch to game, and let's show a filter for the game scene. And this will pull up your scenes and your sources. And then this shows every single game filter on the game scene. So if I want to do any of these, I'll just highlight it so we'll go to game default and that makes my uh my camera small so that you can see my gameplay on the bigger screen and then just to show things that are happening let's put a two second delay in it and then we're going to change the filter again for game and we're going to do game highlight and that'll change the filter and then change the scene to 
my primary camera, which is what I use to film these tutorials on. But I want a delay in there. Just gonna move that up. All right. So now we're gonna test this command. I'm just gonna hit test command and it's gonna do all those things. It's gonna switch to my game scene immediately. And then it's going to make my camera small. Two seconds later, it's gonna make it large. And two and a half seconds later, these are all in milliseconds, it'll switch to my regular YouTube, uh, uh, regular YouTube camera scene. So I click test command. All that was done automatic. Now you'll see I didn't have it remove this border here because I forgot. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm going to just go ahead and remove that right now. Ta-da! All right. Now that's basically all you have to do. Now in order to save the file and use it in your Stream Deck or your Leoran board or your Touch Portal, whatever, it's really a simple process. Now again, we're gonna head over and take a look at this. And all you have to do is export this to wherever, and you'll see I have all of these batch files already saved. Um, name it something that, whatever you want, but name it something that you're gonna remember what it does. Um, a lot of these are just for my Twitch stream right here. Click save, and then that's that. Then, let's go ahead and get out of here. We're gonna pull up the Stream Deck software, because I use the Stream Deck. All right, let me get to an empty point here, and you'll see all of the fun stuff that I do. All you have to do to get a batch file working on Stream Deck is you'll go to System, pull that down, open it like a file, and then just head wherever you have those, uh, those batch files saved. Now, you'll notice every single one of these files has, every single one of these file names has two different kinds of files. There's the batch file, the batch script, and a visual basic script. Open the batch file. Both will work, but you have to have noobs commander running in order for the visual basic file to actually work. So open the batch file. And then once you do that, you don't have to have anything running. It'll just work. This is a very simple script that does such a little thing, but, or I'm sorry, it's a very simple program that does such a little thing that, but it makes your stream look so much more professional because all that stuff is happening all at once instead of the limitation on the stream deck, which is to read it like a list. And remember, if you've liked the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below. And if you have any questions or comments or want to tell me how wrong I am, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday live on twitch.tv slash WolverineGuyKev. I do a lot of just chatting and I play some pretty mediocre Warzone. Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay safe.